Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Overwatch 2 for low-end PC on Windows 11. But before, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram. First you have to go down here to the search bar, type graphics, press on graphics settings, then go to gaming, press on game mode. On the game mode make sure you have this on, then press here on graphics, on the add an app, select desktop app, and press on browse. Search where you have your battle.net folder, or you can just search it here, then open it. Go to overwatch, go to retail, and this is the right file you have to find, select it, then press here on add. It will pop up here. Press on options. Here you have to change this to high performance. Press on save. Close this page. Open battle.net. Go to overwatch 2. Press on this icon on the options. Go to show in explorer. Here you have to press on retail. Go to overwatch. Right click on it. Press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to change High DPI Settings. Check this box. Then press OK. Press Apply. And OK. Now close this page. Go up here on the Battle.net menu. Press on Settings. On the game launch, here you have to select exit battle.net completely, then scroll down to advanced features, uncheck this box, this page will pop up, select restart later. Make sure you have unchecked use browser hardware acceleration, press undone again. Now launch the game. When you are here in the game, go down here to the menu, press on options, now here you have to go to video, video again. On the display mode, select full screen. Target display, select best match. Resolution, select the best resolution you have on your monitor. Field of view, select 103. Aspect ratio, select 16 by 9. Dynamic render scale, select off. Render scale, select automatic. Frame Rate, select Custom. Here select the maximum frame rate. Vertical Sync, select Off. Triple Buffering, select Off. Reduce Buffering, select Off. NVIDIA Reflex, select Disabled. Gamma Correction, select 2.20. Contrast, select 1. And Brightness, select 1. Now go here to Graphics Quality. On the graphics quality, select low. High quality upsampling, select default. Texture quality, select low. Texture filtering quality, select low. Local fog detail, select low. Dynamic reflections, select off. Shadow detail, select off. Model detail, select low. Effects detail, select low lighting quality select low anti-aliasing quality select low fxaa refraction quality select low screenshot quality select one times resolution ambient occlusion select off local reflections select off and damage fx select default then go here to the details on the display performance stats, select off. Show frame rate, select on. Show GPU temperature, select off. Show VRAM usage, select off. Show network latency, select off. Show network interpolation delay, select off. And display system clock, select off. Then press here on apply. Press on back. Back again, exit game.
press yes. Do you need to go to the start menu, then go to settings. Go to Windows Update. Press on check for updates, and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to system. Go to display. On the night light, select off. Then go to advanced display. Choose a refresh rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to system. Go to the notifications. On the notifications, select off. Go back to system. Go to focus assist. Select here off. And down here on during these times, select off. Then go back to system. Go to power. Here on the power mode, you have to select best performance. Go back to system. Go to storage. On the storage sense, select off. Then go to cleanup recommendations. Select this too if you want to delete them. Press on cleanup. And press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar window shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to remote desktop. On the remote desktop, select this to off. Go back to system. Go to clipboard. On the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color. Do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need by pressing on this three dots and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened. Select off. Capture audio. Select off. And capture mouse. Select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off. Select classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type task. Press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page. Go again to the search bar. Type optimize. Press on defragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive. And press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze. And then optimize. Go again to the search bar. Type run. Press on run. Type here temp. Press OK. Press continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again. Type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here. Type refetch. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. 
Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date, and that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe, see you in the next episode, bye.